Greetings from AppyWorks. In this video, let us see how to set up and use AppyWorks for Google Forms. Today, we will integrate Google Calendar with Google Forms. On submission of the form with event details as entered by the user, an event will automatically get scheduled in Calendar. Let us take a sample form which can be used by an individual to schedule an appointment. In case AppyWorks is not installed, go to Google Workspace Marketplace and search for AppyWorks. Select AppyWorks and then install. In my case, AppyWorks is already installed. Once the installation is complete, you can find AppyWorks in the list of add-ons. Now click on AppyWorks and then set up. In order to create a new service, click on the Create button. You can choose an application of your choice from many apps that are available. Let us choose Google Calendar as our application. You can give a suitable name to your service, and then continue to build the connection. You can either choose from an existing connection, or you can create a new connection by clicking on the plus icon present on the right side of the connection field. Now authorize with Google Calendar and accept all permissions as prompted. Once the connection is successfully established, we can choose Create Event from the list of actions that are available. Here we must select a calendar from the list of available IDs in which the event will be created. Now let us move to the mapping section. While few fields can automatically be mapped, rest can be added manually. For manual mapping, click on the Add button. Here we have mapped purpose of appointment to summary, start date and time to start date time and end date and time to end date time. Once all the fields are successfully mapped as per the form requirement, now we have to select a time zone. By default, the time zone will be set to user's default time zone, in our case which is IST. Let us change it to different time zone and once the time zone is chosen, now let us move to the notification section by clicking on the add button. You can get notified on every successful submission of form via Amazon SES, SMTP, Google Chat or other communication applications that are available in the list. Let us choose Google Chat here. You can either choose from an existing connection, or you can create a new connection by clicking on the plus icon present on the right side of the connection field. Here we have to provide the webhook URL of the Google Chat space where we want to get notified upon submission of this form. In order to get the webhook URL, open the space in Google Chat and click on Apps and Integration as is shown here. Then click on Manage Webhook URL to get the webhook URL of the respective space. Put the URL and then click on Connect button to establish a connection. Once the connection is successfully established, configure the text with which you want to get notified as has been shown here. Once the notification is configured, now let's click on Add button and then finally save the service. Once the service is saved successfully, let us now proceed to test our form by clicking on the Preview button. Before we fill out our form with some sample information, let us at first take a look at our calendar and as we can see no events are scheduled for 8th and 9th of July. Now let's come back and fill out our form. Once the form is filled completely, click on Submit button. After the form is successfully submitted, let's check whether we received a notification in our Google Chat. Here we can see that we are notified with the text that we have configured in our service. It suggests an appointment has also been scheduled as per the date 
time input in the form and the time zone we configured in our service. Here we can see the appointment has been scheduled on July 9th from 7.30 a.m. in spite of July 8th in form as per the New York time zone as was set in the service. Hope you enjoyed the intelligent integration and hyper-automation capability of AppyWorks on Google Forms. Thanks for watching.